Hi, I'm Derek. I'm the Island Operations Director here on Hurricane Island, where we integrate science and research on a remote main island uh, to make sustainable leaders of tomorrow. Our island is completely off-grid, meaning we get all of our energy from solar, and all of our water is harvested here on the island, which we also pump up uh, with solar. Uh, we bring children out here to teach them science and leadership. Our leadership component is taught mostly uh, by example. And we bring children out here to teach them science and leadership, uh, kind of through activities and interactive uh, learning. Uh, kids come from all over Maine and all walks of life. We also bring uh, people from all over the globe for certain programs like United People Global. And uh, we have visiting researchers that come out here uh, to visit our new field research station. Hurricane Island electricity generating systems um, are quite expansive. And about a year ago, we looked at a way to bring um, four or five different electrical systems together under one system because uh, it had become quite complex for us to manage. Uh, in doing that analysis, we actually figured out it would be better for us to stick with four total systems. So we have one electricity gener uh, system for our water pumping, for our fresh water. We have one that powers our shower house. We have one that powers the main campus, including the galley, the mess hall, the shop, and the dorm. And finally, we have a system that powers the field research station. Um, three of those four systems, all the systems except for the Gallium Mess Hall, we have switched to using lithium ion batteries and we've upgraded the solar panels. And right now the energy uh, generation is um, generating more electricity than we even need uh, in those facilities. The uh, fourth system, which is our biggest, is the Galley, the Mess Hall, the Dorm. Um, that is still using lead acid batteries. Uh, it's still working just fine. Those batteries are about 10 years old. We'll need to replace them in a few years. And at that point, we'll probably switch to a lead, uh, 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 the, new, the new technology with batteries. Um, uh, one of the things that we've really learned about energy systems is we have to monitor if there's something that's running that we don't know is drawing electricity. And that's a real challenge for us. So in two of our systems, we had pumps running and we were not aware of it. And they were draining the system down. And so uh, we're constantly kind of having to monitor our systems and be aware, you know, what's working and what's not, and if, if there's something drawing electricity unnecessarily. Hello, um, welcome to the garden on Hurricane Island. Um, starting over here, we have our lovely compost system. So we have a three bay compost system here. So in the first bay, we add all of our fresh food produce that is left over from our meals. So anything that you don't eat, we put it into a bucket. Then we add it into the first bay. And I like to mix it in with lots of wood chips and other things to help it break down. And then once it breaks down a bit more, we move it into the second bay and then into the third bay. And then once it's fully into compost, we can add it to our garden beds over here, which is super cool. Um, and then over here we have our main garden. So we have 13 beds across and then we have one bed in the back. Um, there's lots of little things growing right now and a few larger things. So we have some garlic that's left over from last year. We have some cucumbers, some squash, and one pumpkin, which is very exciting. Then we have some beets, carrots, radishes, spinach, um, and then we also have some chard and kale for salads. And then we have some tomatoes that are staked up on little sticks right now to help them grow. <laughs> and then as you can see with that trellis, we have some sugar snap peas. So once those get bigger, they'll start climbing up on the trellis, to help them grow a bit. And then you can't see these yet because they're just seeds, but we have some beans some scallions and some leeks planted over there. So those will start to germinate and pop up in the next few weeks. 
and as you can see that little building back there we have the greenhouse so that's where all of our seeding takes place so when we direct seed things we use seed trays and once those are ready to be transplanted into the garden we take them out here pick which bed we want to plant them in and then we plant them but they start out in the greenhouse to keep them warm and help the seeds grow um, over here we kind of have our classroom space so when there are students up here we can hang out over there there's a little circle of stumps that we all sit on to discuss things um, and yeah this is kind of the main garden thank you Hurricane Island's fresh water system, the, the water that we use to, for drinking and for showers, uh, all comes from an old rock quarry. So there's a big pond left in this area from an old rock quarry. And it's fresh water, it's not salt water, and we pump that water from that rock quarry up to storage tanks at the top of a hill. And then from there, the entire campus is fed by gravity uh, to feed the shower house, to feed the galley and the mess hall, um, sinks, and then um, water bubblers for drinking. Um, the water and the process of being pumped from the quarry up to the top of the hill goes through uh, an initial filter, and then it gets treated with chlorine, and then it goes through a second filter at the top of the hill, and then it gets stored in three um, 1,500 gallon tanks uh, at the top of the hill. Uh, and until recently, water, well, we were always having trouble managing our water. Uh, but we've upgraded our electrical system to be able to, and now we can pump more water than we could possibly need. And we have energy storage to pump, even on a gray day like today that's foggy. Uh, we have plenty of electricity to pump the water that we need, and the system's working quite well. My name is Owen, I'm an educator here on Hurricane Island. Here on Hurricane, we have a variety of leadership activities, such as rowing, the raft challenge, and rock climbing, and various games um, meant to teach students skills such as teamwork, how to collaborate, how to work through problems together, all in the hopes of developing leaders who feel comfortable and confident taking control of situations and feeling empowered to handle whatever challenges that they may face. Uh, so this is the Hurricane Island Field Research Station. The mission of the Hurricane Island Center for Science and Leadership is to integrate scientific education and scientific in, uh, research to prepare leaders to solve problems in a rapidly changing world. All right, so and um, a big part of that whole mission is the word integrate. This idea that we can connect um, science education and science research in a way that is uh, engaging for our youth, in a way that's meaningful for scientists and researchers, in a way that we can build understanding for how we can all be leaders to solve these problems. Um, so this is a key piece of that for our mission, this building here. And um, on the most basic level, it, we cited it here, or we plan to have it here because it's still a part of our campus. So the kids that are here can integrate with the scientists, but it's also separate so that the kids' meddling fingers are not getting in the scientists' experiments. Um, so that's why it's cited here. Uh, it's a great opportunity because there was a, an existing wharf. There will be docks here. Um, uh, so uh, research equipment can come and go. There's a lot of space. So the research station is not just this building, it's also eventually there'll be uh, places and access in all these docks to do work uh, and then there's this building um, so this building was built uh, we, we had a planning committee that set out and we wanted to um, have a, a place for researchers to use as a dry space to use as office space a dry laboratory space we wanted a wet space for them to conduct experiments and get messy um, we wanted a space for our uh, dive operations to be able to set up and be able to change for you know, their, their scuba tanks or dive tanks. Um, we wanted a space for what's called flowing seawater, for um, uh, water to be able to be pumped out and to go into tanks for experiments. Um, and we wanted a place that could be a classroom for higher education classes to, that come here. So those were all of our goals when we were trying to build this space. All right. I feel great. I love being here. I love interacting with the kids and all the groups that come here. And I, I get to play and be a bit of a kid uh, when everyone's around. Uh, I, I'm ultimately in charge of everyone's safety and coming and goings. But my favorite part about being here is being able to play with all the participants.